Looks like we made it here in one piece. <sighs> I never realized before just how hot this place is. It's like being inside a fire. You're only just noticing? Ah, yes, forgive me. The whole lack of sensory feedback situation. That's the one. It's hard to believe I once worked in this soup, let alone helped spearhead a revolution. And all with the mask concealing your face. It must have been very grimy beneath that. Back then, we had our plates full enough dealing with constant abuse from our Renan overlords. It never occurred to me the air itself was oppressive in its own way. My head spinning just with the effort it takes to walk. Uh, I think that's called heat stroke. You might want to take a sip of water. You mean that water that's been festering under the sun for days? I wouldn't chance it without boiling it first. Oh, I know. I'll go to the dock and fetch us some clean water. Water alone won't suffice. He'll need to ensure his sodium levels are replenished as well. In that case, let's see if we can rustle up some rock salt. Alfin, you go cool off in the shade for a while. Xion, stay and keep an eye on him. And then there were two. Bit of an overreaction, but it's still kind of them. Maybe it's not the time, but this place brings back memories. I know what you mean. We're back where it all started. You don't ever regret meeting me sometimes, do you? Are you kidding? You started all of this, bringing down the wall, retrieving my sense of self. I have no regrets. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> uh, oh, uh, welcome back, Law. <laughs> hey. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Yes. Hmm. Just great. Uh, how's this? Got it. Hey! Yay! All right. <laughs> hey! Yes! Hmm? <sighs> right. Hmm. Sure. Hmm? <laughs> I don't believe this! Good. Nice work. Ah! <laughs> but this is... <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Hmm. 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 Yes. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> nice work. Hmm. Very nice. Careful. That's no ordinary Zoogle. Yeah? Well, we're no ordinary party either. Let's dispose of the trash. Oh, 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 Astral energy! Say no more! Take this! I'm not almost there! Do it! Oh, close Reload! Now. Demons descend! Flashing back! Together, that wasn't even a problem. We've reached our destination. We avoided getting roasted in that ring, but what we could really use is something to cap this off. Sure. Got any ideas on what would be good? Mabo curry. Fried bread stuffed with curry. You'd probably buy out the whole stock. Looks like we made it here in one piece.
finally made it. Hey, Rinwell, tell me about your parents. What were they like? They were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though, especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So, why? Yeah, I guess something about Zephyr reminded me of my own father. You don't say. So, did your pops and mine look a lot like each other? Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt a resemblance, I guess. Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but I'm glad. Your dad must have been a great guy. He was. Maybe it's the snow soaking up all the sound, but something about Cislodia always feels mysterious to me. Solemn, almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Ottolina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. All I know is it's freaking cold. Still, more pleasant now that the locals aren't quite as frosty towards us. Hmm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. Oh, come on! You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who... How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Take what you've learned and put it to use in the future instead. An unexamined past can be just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I know. Kisara doesn't mince her words, does she? I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Tell me about it! I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. Poodle, I've got some dried fish for you. You want some? Huh. Forget that. Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better, boy? <laughs> hey! Stop trying to coax him away with treats! Get your own adorable sidekick if you're so desperate for one! <laughs> He appears to enjoy being the center of attention. Funny how things change. He and Rinwell used to be joined at the hip, or shoulder to Talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting. Isn't that so, Rinwell? They do say pets and their owners act alike. I suppose since we've been together, I've done my share of coming out of my own shell too. Well then, I guess with you and Hoodle, that makes us all one big happy family. Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Poodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I had that problem. I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old feather brain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. Really? He seems tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance? That's dogs, not owls. What's going on when Hoodle pecks at you? Uh, I don't know. Like, when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless... Wait, you don't suppose I make him jealous? Come again? <laughs> Ow! Ah, get off of me, you insecure fluffball! <laughs> I rather think they make a good comedic pairing.
Look out! What the hell is that? Hey! You want a piece of me? Stay calm, Law. It's coming for us. You just had to make things difficult for us, didn't you? What are you muttering about? Focus or you'll get hurt! Don't worry. I'll have this wrapped up in a flash. You're ready to go! I'll tear you apart! Hit him hard! Hurt the most! Now. 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 Get a chain between us and the wall now! Let me get it! Take a whale! Sea of lightning! Goodbye! Goodbye! Talent storm! Now or never! No further! Resurrection! That's the spot! First I'll stop its talk! Thanks, Kisara! Healing is what my arts do best. 
can't get out of bit. this! Now you see what I can do! Here, let me help! First aid! That's gonna smart. Tempest, I'll bring you back from death a bit! So feel better! Resuscitation! The enemy is going all out! I have to train harder. Here goes! Take I'll this! I'll bring you back from death a bit! Hear my call! Friends! I'll bring you back from death a bit! Here goes! Here's no more like this! A wailing beam of lightning! I'll bring you back from death a bit! Resuscitation! Lightning orbs! with that creature. It was some sort of a Zugal that could control light. Rinwell, do you think that could have been... The true form of the Phantom Flower? No, it couldn't be. What makes you so sure? Because... What the... Whoa! What the hell is that? Is the enemy back for more? Whatever it is, it's freaking huge! You guys, calm down. It's okay. It's probably... No, it's definitely the Phantom Flower of Nevira! I read about it in that book we found earlier. It was described as a mysterious light floating up in the sky. It's not dangerous at all. In fact, this is the place it was first discovered. So that's how it got its name, then. You sure it's not some enemy astral art being cast at us? Positive. I think it's just a rare and unusual weather phenomenon more than anything else. Cislodia obviously used to be covered in darkness around the clock. But with that gone, I guess that's why we're able to see this again? You could be right. It's so pretty, though, isn't it? Sure. But it's so big we could have seen it from town just fine, couldn't we? Well, sure, but still. Hey, who cares where we saw it? I'm just glad we got to see it at all. Besides, that Zugal was what kept us from seeing it before, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's such a gorgeous night sky here. You should really bring Xion out to watch it. Right. Right. I'll, uh, do that. It took a lot to get here, but I can't help but feel like a dream of mine came true. Thanks, Law. I didn't do all that much, really. Well, I still really appreciate it. It made me really, really happy. Uh, hey, uh, you know I... Oh! It looks like you can see it even better from over there! I'm gonna go check it out! Huh? Hey, wait! Renwell... <sighs> My word! This must be the work of Providence! Prova what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. These bad guys really don't mess around. Group. Take this! Light 
We're in good form! What do you say we check back in on the ranch? 